All right, it is stop number two of the Barstool Bench Mob SEC road trip, and here we are in Tuscaloosa, Alabama, with the head coach of the Crimson Tide, Nate Oates. Coach Oates, first off, thank you for having us. You guys have been great hosts so far. Beautiful facility, so we really appreciate it. Yeah, it is real beautiful. Players are a little spoiled around here, but it's all right. Some of them deserve it. Where, where's st- I want to know where stop three is. This is stop two. Do we have a stop three? New York City. <laughs> That's not the SEC. You said stop two on the SEC road trip. Final stop. Oh, final stop. There we go. I like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Save the best for we, last. Yeah, we haven't been greenlit for like eight stops. You know, it's not grit week yet. We're not. You said it best. I was on the JV show first, and then I bumped up with pardon my take. I, I don't know what you're talking about. Pardon who, my said, t- who said that? Pardon my take. Oh, you were okay, on the JV yeah. show with us. Oh, that's kicked, right. Yeah, we yeah. kicked you up to the varsity. So. Yeah, there you go. You know, I think he knew he said yet. that. He was being so yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um. So last night, just letting you know, we almost had to call you at 2 a.m. This guy, he I drove for seven hours last night. He drove for one. Maniac. He's honking the horn and shit. Sounds like my wife's deal, right? <laughs> we'll split the driving and eight hour yeah. trip, seven hours. Well, exactly. I wanted to say I drove. He, I'm not a big driver. He'll take like all driving. the he'll take all the credit too. But we get we got pulled over. And this guy, Uh-oh. you would have thought were you in we, the state of Alabama? Yeah, you would have thought we had like. A thousand Did you just tell him you're Coach Saban's uh, nephew or something? No, we actually <laughs> we dropped your name, Coach. So, <laughs> he brought it. Goes, I swear, you would have been look. much better off dropping Coach Saban's name. He goes, I got sure. Coach Oates. We're going to Alabama. I swear it's a rental. It's a you rental. Thought, the guy's like, you, he's like, you got, no you got no tail lights. You got no tail lights. So I guess we flicked the thing the wrong way or whatever. And I'm just talking a mile a minute. <laughs> he's like. Uh, I'm like, we just came from Arkansas, we're going out, man. I pull up the call log. It's got Nate Oates. He's like, wait, so like, you all reporters? Never took the license. He was like, oh, do me a favor, just pull up and like turn the light on. He, we got it. He was like, all right, just get out That's of here. That's good to know. I, yeah. I, got, I got a little got bit some juice pull. around here. Yeah. The guy would have, like, he would If you would have called me, I would have been like, tell him you know saving. <laughs> <laughs> you like, the guy literally like wanted to get out of it. He's like, I'm not even going to give him a ticket so he shuts the fuck up. That's pretty much <laughs> what it was. He's talking like New York, <laughs> I think New I York said, Mile yeah. Minute. Yeah. Got the New York accent going, the whole deal. I think I said it was a rental like 12 times. I'm like, hey, buddy, it's a <laughs> rental. I don't know the call. Swear to God, we didn't steal it. <laughs> yeah. Where was that at? It was probably we're 30 minutes out. 15, no, it was like 15, yeah, about a half hour out. Oh, yeah, 25 here, minutes out, yeah. <laughs> so I guess the closer we get, the more pull you have. Um, we just left practice. You're a big guard team. You know, the, the, the game's obviously moving with guards. J.D. Davidson, McDonald's All-American. What does he bring to the table? Like, how dynamic can he Did be? Did you guys get bored with practice? Because you were, like, right there at the half-court line, and then halfway through practice, I seen you just, like, wander upstairs. No, we had to move or back what? a little Our bit. Our camera guys have the, the – artistic vision they're like go get this angle move around i was oh, all they, oh it was like an art- artistic thing. yeah yeah you that were, was you it. Didn't get bored, no absolutely i stole okay. four of those drills for my future kids for cyl down the road coach <laughs> i like it i like yeah, it yeah. we can draw them up for you yeah put them no jd's gonna be good for us though he's i mean we did a lot of transition stuff today you can tell how good he is in transition i mean he's super athletic he's he's been really good to coach since he's got here you know that's what you always wonder you can tell how talented the kid is in high school but you don't always know how coachable they're going to be, how well they're going to get along with their teammates. You know, and he's had a lot of publicity around him for a while just with, you know, the highlights he puts out. So, you know, is he going to be a prima donna? Is he, you know, is he going to be about him? And he, he's been really enjoyable to coach, to be honest. Did, did you guys get a chance to talk to him at all or not? No, not yet. You'll have to get him. You just don't get hit by the hair when he, you know, he turns <laughs> his head on. But, yeah, he, he's a good kid. You'll, you'll like talking to him. So earlier this morning we sat in on the culture meeting, and the thing you guys praised was – the three values, max effort, continuous gr- uh, growth, and selfless love. Nailed it, right? Yeah, you got it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, you, you pause down. there on the cycle. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, we got I'd it. I'd rather we got pause right. to look down on right. It's better to be and slow be and correct than quick and wrong, right? Exactly. Yeah, yeah. That's what they say in journalism. You don't want to be You don't want to be first as long as you just got to be right. To that's, lose your what, reputation. that's what they're telling me about my answers to oh. journalist questions. Just slow down. You don't, you know, don't stick your foot in your mouth. Exactly. So there you go. No, You're never so. right. <laughs> I've been right. right like once. All right. <laughs> it's good when you're right, though. It's yeah. nice. Uh, anyway, so those values, how does that translate to the court, to a Sweet 16 run, and hopefully this year for you guys, a national champion? I mean, I think when and you guys, you know, we were on the JV podcast last year. <laughs> you guys followed us a little bit. We uh, Like, if you watch this play, there's games when we were up big and we were still diving on the floor for loose. But, like, we played hard. Like, anybody that left our game or watched our game on TV, I felt like always – recognize the fact that we weren't just an offensive you know we play fast we take a lot of threes we broke scoring records and three-point records and all this but but we played hard like I mean I remember at LSU when we couldn't miss and we broke 
our own SEC record for trees made in the game. We had 23, and we're up 40 maybe. And Juwan Gary's diving on the floor right in front of their bench. And Like, to me, the max effort thing, that's started to become who we are. Like, we're going to play hard no matter what. And guys talk about it in practice, and we talk about it in culture meetings. And the continuous growth is we're just going to keep getting better. You know, we lost to Western Kentucky last year. Probably not, you know, not what you'd think of as the number five rated team in the country. But, you know, I, and again, you look at what we're scheduling this year, you know, we got to go to Seattle to play Gonzaga. It just came out. You know, we Fuck were playing I hate Baylor. So much. We're playing Houston. So we've got three of the four Final Four yeah, teams on the, on the schedule. We, You know, we've got a tough schedule, but I, I don't mind playing hard teams. Like, I don't need to go 13-0-9 conference or 12-0 before you hit SEC play. Like, you know, some people literally just schedule wins. We're not about that. We're about getting better. And I don't think you get better by scheduling easy easy teams all the time. You get better by testing yourself. You know, we Western Kentucky, you know, Bassey's going to get drafted. They had a good player. We didn't play well that game. We take a loss. Well, if we hadn't lost that, I'm not sure we would have ended up winning the SEC like we did. Like, there's lessons to be learned. So, you talk about continuous growth, and that's in all areas of life. Everybody makes mistakes. Everybody screws up all the time. We make plenty of mistakes. And pre- let's just get better every day. Let's get in the gym, work on our own. You know, and the selfless love part of it is like really being good teammates, being good citizens, being guys you want to play with. Like her, you know, and you guys heard, you know, Arnie's talking that about. That was awesome. Yeah, about Herb. And I mean, just all the respect these guys have for Herb. And he's he's such a good kid. I mean, I hope he ends up going in the first round. I, You know, I've had, should after we get done with this, I got to call a few NBA guys back. I had a couple more hit me up this morning. I got a couple from, like everybody wants to talk about Herb and what he brings to the table, and he's such a good kid. So you talk about selfless love and not being about yourself and being about everybody else. Like he kind of embodied that. When that's your best player, you know, when the other coaches around the league recognize it and vote him as SEC player of the year, like that kind of speaks volumes to what what that means in our program too. No, yeah, I appreciate you bringing us to that meeting because I feel like a piece of shit. And everyone, I mean, Dan and Dan. <laughs> that that well, was the point of it. I yeah, think, I know. you know, that was why I we mean, did that. I was like, all right, I got to do something nice for somebody today. I mean, they call Rico Miko Bosco for a reason. So that's. <laughs> <laughs> it's, an unfor- it's an unfortunate rhyming for my name. Um, <laughs> yeah, those. So obviously, those core values translate to the court. But uh, the thing to me, you got the recruiting trail coming up, Peach Jam. And today you were like telling guys, do the little things, touch the line. How much of that translates like that old adage of coaches watch everything? You go to see a recruit, you guys have the pick of the litter. Like people have to want to, want to come here. You pick whoever you want. But wh- is that true? You, you watch everything? As, we do. As far I as think, them warming up, like attitude, how they interact? Yeah, I, I really – it's, you know, on video, which is all we'd been able to watch up until June when we could go out, you, you know, you can see st- – how talented are they? How skilled are they? Can they make shots? You can even see how hard they play for the most part. What you can't see is their interaction with the coach. So that's over here on the side when they get pulled out. What their interaction with their team, you know, when their teammates are performing really well and they're they're on the bench, are they genuinely really happy? Or are they pissed because they're on the bench and not in the game when their team's making a run? Like I like talking to Herb Jones, I mean, last year. You know, he had been on the bench for a minute getting rest, and he's ready to go back in. Well, we were on a run, and he's like, no, 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 coach, leave him, leave him. Like, they're, they're doing well. Like, I don't, I, don't need, I don't need to go in. You know, like, like you can see some of that in, in person. You can't see that on video. So, And that's what, like, the NBA people call us, trying to figure out what kind of person these guys are. So that, that's, that's what we're trying to look for. Uh, you know, do they – do they actually run hard when they they don't really have a chance being to play? Like sometimes the camera go this way, you don't know what's going on down here. You can see it in yeah. person. So it's good to be back out. You get you guys coming to the Peach Jam or what? Should bring, hey, the we home. should we should make stop. I mean, it's kind of on the way if you're doing a road trip. You know, you leave Tuscaloosa, go to Augusta, and then head up to uh, New York. Can you get us in on the golf course? Oh, you mean like like the big one, the <laughs> yeah. nice one? Yeah. Fuck. Uh, that's, you know what? I haven't even. I, I don't really golf much, but I haven't even been there yet. I don't know. I'm not. Yeah, I'm definitely know. not a member at Augusta. That's, yeah. that's not really my. It's not really my deal right now. No, I think we'll we'll negotiate that next year, Peach that, Jam. Yeah, it might be a saving deal. I don't know. Fair. I guess maybe I'll talk to some of the NBA coaches for you too. I had a lot of good connections there. Yeah. 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 All, all your New York City days. Couple, or? Yeah, a couple two tree people I know. Terrence Ross. <laughs> he plays tree. Loses trivia with Terrence Ross. He thinks that's his like 
major connection. So it is. We talk aliens. <laughs> aliens. <laughs> He'll be like twenty minutes before tip. I'm just talking about aliens with Terrence Ross. <laughs> says he's uh, yeah. Says he's out. Gets there. him locked in. For yeah. ready, for, ready, ready, ready. Ready. I'm like, well, how did he play? Marty's like, he scored like thirty. Like, so <laughs> just just need to be relaxed, yeah, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. How is everything going with like the uh, like the players' likeness and image stuff now? I feel like it's like the wild west, and I know you can't do anything for them. Like you just kind of like try and help them out, but I feel like it's like crazy right now. Yeah, I mean, some of our guys have gotten some deals. I think it, I think it's good that it's out there now. I yeah. think, I mean, shoot, it's, it is their name, image, and likeness. I mean, they they should have ownership to it. So, yeah. you know, if somebody thinks that their names valuable and we talk to our guys about that too right like okay it's your name well people want to buy your name to add value to their business mm-hmm. if your name's not where it needs to be they're not going to pay you i mean you know we give them the stories of professional athletes that you know have lost money on name image like this stuff because they did certain things and their name took a hit and people didn't want to so so it, it brings even more awareness to the fact that your name's what you got make yeah. sure you take care of it make sure you treat people well I and mean, we even talked about we, we have camp here you know you never know whose kid is at camp yep. did you treat them well were you in there you know we had some guys that were in camp all the time you know we we don't make it mandatory that they come through all the time they, they got to be there for certain areas but like like jd davidson we're talking he was there all the time like he he was great with the kids like these guys want to see, see you know so who knows you know maybe that kid's dad owns whatever business, you know, he loved the way JD interacted with his son and, you know, let, let's get you out here, do an autograph sign or, you know what, let's put your face up here. You know, do you mind? And I think a lot of it's going to be a lot of social media. Do you mind putting yeah. out an Instagram post once a week? We'll pay you to do that. Right. Do you mind once a month or do you mind tweeting out? Whatever it is. I, yeah. I, I'm not, I'm not a marketing guy, but I think it's good for our kids. Yeah. And yeah, we, we can't line it up, but you know, certainly happy to, to, to talk through some things with our guys. I mean, if they come to us, like, what do you think about this? Like, I'd be willing to give them my opinion. Because that's yeah. the other thing too, right? Some companies may come, they may not want to associate with, you know, I may not want to associate with bars. So I do, I'm yeah. here, you know, but you know, <laughs> no, we, listen, we we've heard no, that. You know? Plenty of companies are like, no thanks. <laughs> Plenty of schools, unfortunately, too. Fucking. <laughs> Can you schedule we, Creighton? Creighton and Ohio Creighton State. Creighton Ohio State. Creighton Ohio State. Well, Creighton just got the probation, less. so that was yeah. I know that was what a shame. They got probation. <laughs> karma, like you said, treat them, treat them well. You know what I mean? I think that was karma, coach. Actually, I hope it, I actually like Creighton's head coach, but maybe maybe it was the administration. Or I actually I liked him too. That's why we wanted him on. They went, yeah, they, that's they idea. They won't let you come in. We got yes. we got beef with you. We got but we got better SID. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. 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 So reflecting on last season, of course, the bubble. You win the SEC tournament. Uh, you win the SEC. And then the NCAA tournament, you have the highs and lows. You have the Reese buzzer beater and then falling short to UCLA. Just how does that season, the uniqueness of it, help with you guys now? Well, I mean, we talk about it a lot. I mean, they're, you know, we lose to UCLA in overtime and shoot 11 to 25 at the free throw line. If we shoot 50% of the free throw line, you know, we win the game in regulation. You, you know, you're playing the Elite Eight. Now there's obviously a lot of stuff goes on. But, you know, our, th- our thing was there's such a thin margin of error. I mean, look at UCLA. They make a run to the Final Four, right? Like, they weren't playing that great at the end of the regular season. Then they get on a run in the tournament and make a run. Well, there's a very thin margin of error that is going to determine whether you win or lose a lot of these games. And so when you're missing lines like some guys were today, when you're not playing as hard as you need to, that thin margin of error comes down to one or two possessions a lot of games. It's going to win or lose your games. So and we tell our guys all the time, like, when we've won championships, you know, I used to tell our guys at Buffalo all the time, we didn't win the MAC championship in March, whatever, you know, on March 10th or whatever it ends up being. We won that on a random day in July when we went way harder than everybody else in our league. And, you know, we're not going to win an SEC championship necessarily on March, whatever. We're going to win it on a random day in June, July, August, September when we're going way harder than everybody else is that day. And we're separating ourselves right now. And my thing to these guys is, are we doing that? Because I feel like we lost some leadership from last year's team. Herb's not here. You know, Petty, Reese, Bruner, got four seniors. They're all gone. Like, where's the leadership now? Who's making sure we're going hard? Who's making sure the guys are getting an extra work outside of practice when we're not there? So that's that's maybe what we learned from 
you know, just continue to teach what you can, you know, what you've been talking about, but use lessons that we just had last year to kind of teach the same thing. UCLA went into overtime too in that play in game, or that first round game. Yeah. That's pretty sure. Yeah. Yeah. They, they did. They, State, uh, State, Michigan State yeah. had yeah. them overtime. down big. Yep. Yep. Yeah. They should, they had to pull Michigan it out of there. Feels yeah. like they should have won the game. Absolutely. They probably should have. Crazy. Yeah, that's true. I pulled my hamstring on that half court shot. <laughs> <laughs> Celebration. I got upside and never moved so fast in my life. <laughs> I like it. Um, You are building a program here where you're going to have first, like one and done talents, first round talents. How does it go with a conversation, a guy like uh, Primo, who obviously you want him back here, but if you say like he's a first round talent, he's high level, like how do you balance that of like, Hey, go go make your money, but we want you back. You know what yeah, I mean? So I, I going all the way back to my high school days, just do what's right by the player. And I think it works itself out every time. Like, you know, I had we had a really good program at Rhyme Mills outside Detroit. I had a kid that had started for me a couple of years. We had another kid transfer and play point. His kid wanted to play point. He transferred, you know, like a lot a lot of coaches would call up the MHSA illegal transfer and eligible. Like that ain't what's right by the kid. Like, let him play. Like, so I always Matter of fact, I had kids that I didn't even coach that I'd put in my van and drove to college visits, get them into school. I had one kid, he's ended up being a first team Juco All American. He had Romulus down for his high school on his uh his, he's never played for me one time. But I took him with me, you know. Oh, his yeah. coach didn't take care of him. I took I took care of him, I took him out, got him set up somewhere, and he had like Romulus that somebody pointed out, he didn't go rhyme. I'm like, no, but he must have decided to give us some credit for getting him in school or something. But uh so so in it so I carry it over to, to where we're at now like just do what's right by the kid so like I, I told you I went out and flew out and met with Josh and his sister uh out in LA when he was training I, I said look man if you can get in the first round and it makes sense that you don't come back here like we're gonna be happy as can be for you right. and we are because I said we'll use you in recruiting for the next five six years however like you know you come in look at what we did with Josh Primo so it's win-win for us like yeah I would love to have him back because he could certainly help us win a lot of games next year but if what's right by him is to go make money, I mean, it's life-changing money for their family, then go make the money. I'd be really happy for you, and we'll use you in recruiting, and we'll use it to get the next Josh Primo in here to help us win games down down the road in the future, maybe not next year, but the following year or whatever. So just do right by the kid, and I think it all works itself out every time. So I know you're a big suit guy. We talked about this in our last interview. Uh, in a couple of weeks, I'm announcing a professional lacrosse game for NBC Peacock, and I bought a new suit, so I want you to rate it for me. <laughs> Tell me if it's going to look all right Is, on Do you camera. got a suit or sport coat? Because I, I went all sport coats last year. What do you think? Oh, that's big time. Yeah? You got the, you you got, wow. you got the, the pocket square going? Yeah. yeah I, the, the, we just <laughs> did. Uh, we, I got a suit guy here we can help you out all with. Right. Uh, we got one in Tuscaloosa, another one in Birmingham. We, we need a little help with uh, – Tying the knot on the tie. So that's just a demo tie. Oh, that was just a demo. Yeah. So you know I'm how to you know how to get tie. the crease I know in there. How to tie the tie. Yeah. You sure? Yeah. That, I mean, that kind of that's the little things like we talk about touching the line and stuff. I mean, little things yeah. make make it. You and know what? This wasn't this wasn't tailored yet for your Correct. body, Correct. right? I'm picking it up tomorrow, actually. Okay. And you, I mean, you've been working out a lot, so maybe yeah. slim down. At least it bigger looks shoulders like it. and yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know what? Next time, I'll give Max effort on the tying the tie. You see what I did <laughs> yeah. there? See, I got yeah. a lot of problems getting suits. My left arm's longer than my right arm. <laughs> Look at this shit. But yeah, but when you tailor it, then they take care of that. I mean, what's that about? Hold on, you're really like dead in the middle of your body. It's that more. It's that bad. It's fucked up, coach. Move your head. <laughs> That's really bad. Does well, that well, affect? I'm, does I'm that affect out you? Like in- this. <laughs> I got scar. I lean to the left. It's tough. He's not all there to begin with. So I mean, I have a tough life. <laughs> She's got a longer arm. <laughs> Uh, one of those multi-team events, you got Iona in the bracket. Yeah, you saw what they did to us. All these, I mean, they pair us up with Patino right out of the gate. I mean, they almost beat us in the first round of the tournament. I saw. They did. I saw. So yeah. we all saw. How's that, like- <laughs> how's that work? You teeing it up again? Well, yeah, I'm gonna give him a call. I was texting with him and Richard, his son, the uh, the other night. They, uh, I forget, he had a t- funny tweet out. I put the two of them in a group text. He's actually a good guy. Like I like. Oh so yeah, no. I went down and hung out. We played a little golf and in Indian Creek. That was bad. It, it, if any of you do, you play golf, right? Yeah, I play golf. He doesn't play. I play. He doesn't. He's. I play golf. I grew up in Florida. So. Oh, it's, have you, you ever played Indian Creek or not? No. They have more sand on Indian Creek than I've ever seen in my life. They have more sand on one hole than some other courses have on all eighteen <laughs> holes. I got more work hitting out of the sand traps on that course than. 
then this anybody is not should, the worst should of being in the sand trap. Just pull yourself you out. Feel, you you're not playing helpless. on the tour. Just pull yourself out. I play. So if you play with yeah, me, yeah, but I'm playing with like Rick. I mean, he kind of takes it serious. Oh, he does. Right? See, that's why. You I mean, they, they, they weren't that bad. Him and his him and his son Richard and Rick had like it was me, Richard, Rick, and then we got a donor that took took me down there to meet with him, and he he didn't really play. So it's just the three of us. They had a little bet going, father and son bet. So they were talking a lot of. A mess. It was, it was kind of funny, actually. New York City guys, you know, like yeah, yeah, I know. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah that's yeah, the group talking about group text. You got to put us on a group text with the Patinos and the Hurleys. <laughs> we might have to kick it up to the Vols. Well, that, first, that was but. the other thing. I was gonna, you know, they, everybody's got a sense of humor with the scheduling. So, like my last year at Buffalo, I had to play my former boss, yep. Bobby, and you know, it, he had the playing game, and then they won it, so then they had to play me. Like, I like. You don't think those people in the committee are like actually a hundred percent? They should visualize. They, they all should say, they all say they don't. That's not the case, but I, I'm not buying it. Mike no. Bray's played Shashevsky a bunch of times. They know what they're doing. They a hundred percent should tell them that wasn't it. fun because I and we had a good team that year too. Yeah. Like so I knew we'd be all right, but I didn't. You know, you gotta play golf with me. I play uh, scumbag golf, what? so it's never like, heard of that. Yeah, it's pretty good. Like I'll be in the I'll like tee up in the fairway. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> tell them the lifesaver, the green lifesaver. Yeah, you put a green lifesaver on the on the car. <laughs> Put it out. You put a green life there on the fairway so you can't tell it's teed up, but it helps you out. Gives you a little lift. <laughs> oh, I got yeah, it. Yeah, it's yeah. green, it so it's lift. with the grass. Yeah, yeah of course. Anything and within like, like 15 feet any, is a gimme. Any, anytime, 15 foot gimme. 15 you just foot go like gimmies. this. Like, you guys, I'm good, right? And pick it up. I mean, they there's no, no three pots ever then. No, nah, that's no, how we stay inside sure of 120. The three, the three wood off the fairway is the worst club ever, too. So <laughs> I'll have to start using that trick. Put the little. Uh, yeah, yeah give it a little bit of lift. Green life save. It's, yeah, it's yeah, a good yeah. time. Yeah. Maybe I can. Like, why are you always bring Maybe I actually save? use the, the three wood again now, maybe. Yeah, exactly. I also hear you're a decent table tennis player. I don't know if you heard, but I'm the best. I mean, I'm all right. In the like, office. I, you, I, he sent me the video. Actually. Yeah, what do you yeah. think? I mean, he's a maniac. Going, what were you going so nuts about? I mean, because the guy I was playing, bat? there was a lot of pressure. My back was against the wall. I was facing my first multiple game losing streak ever, but I had to win it. Or else I wouldn't. Uh, do you guys play ping pong? Yeah. He called it table tennis lately. Like, of so course. High, yeah. Yeah. I mean, That's the Olympic like, sport. No, I'm not. Well, he's, he's, yeah. he's way too professional for the other two of you. Yeah. So <laughs> so ping pong. You guys play ping pong? Yeah. No, I don't. I'm is not he good. any good? He, yeah, he's mostly good. good. He's, he's All right, annoyingly. We'll right. the All right. And you, who's the pool shark? Marty. Me. All right. So we get a ping pong with you, pool tournament with you. Rico can't Cornhole. Much. Yeah, can. Cornhole. Yeah. I'm going to win the cornhole contest. Rico too. can't jump right over a piece of loose sleep. So I just <laughs> want to know if he says he can. Uh, we got to get. Maybe we get on the boat, do some wake surfing. Yep. Ooh. I would. I'll, I'll, we have to <laughs> <laughs> prove him wrong. So you know how to surf? I I got some surfing lessons in L.A. one time. Like that was like <laughs> surfing, like in the ocean though. Like have you yeah. wake surfed behind a boat before? No, but that All seems right. like it's easier. So Is if you can easy? really surf, you can do this. I got big this. feet, so I don't know. I feel like it's not good. I got I got fingers as toes, though. I got good grip. <laughs> <laughs> grip the board. <laughs> Brian's never tried it, so like. All right. So Ch- now to- Charlie's done it before. My, you know, pet wheel, pet wheel tube. Brian, maybe we, maybe we can get him to try. We got, it, yeah, we got to get, 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 get some footage. Get Brian, some footage have any eligibility that. left? Like, if you guys go down a couple, can you put him in there? Get a couple of rebounds. Get a couple of rebounds. <laughs> big fuck. <laughs> he's my guy, but he's a five, big five, dude, dude. Five fouls. He's a big dude. You had never seen him in person before you got nah, down here. I'm all I'm, you know Rico relationships. I work the phones. I'm, yeah, I'm so she sorry you have you Rico's number. <laughs> like he's, he's probably like every holiday. Wait till your Christmas. He's you're gonna be on fucking. Know, 40 yeah, you got the Fourth meetings. of July text, right? Yeah, the Easter one, I think. With the uh, Easter, <laughs> just wait till Christmas. Yeah, Easter church, with, Easter blazer. Yeah, what, who's yeah, yeah. that was nice. Yeah, exactly. Christmas, going. you're gonna be put in a group chat with 40 unnamed contacts. <laughs> we have no just idea who they delete. are. Delete. Yep. <laughs> Mute. The worst. I don't do those. Yeah, me neither. I don't bother you on game days. That's what it's time. Just the holidays, my coach. <laughs> little things, little things, you know? Yeah, yeah. Birthdays, holidays. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, going back to the SEC tournament, you win it all. The camera flashes to you. I don't think you've seen this clip. <laughs> we're lip readers. Can you confirm what? Can't confirm or deny. <laughs> <laughs> They'll repeat the words. I won't. I think that's listen, I, mean, I, listen. I mean, think that's look, a perfect way to end it. So <laughs> look, I... I uh, uh, the little back backdrop on that yeah. story, though, right? So there was a little uh, scuffle, if we may call it, before the game. I don't know if you get any footage of that, but <laughs> so there was the uh, stakes were a little higher. Maybe it was championship tensions were raised a little before the game, and then like Herb Jones is like literally the greatest kid ever. Like if like if you ever get a chance to interview him, you should. He's, he, you'd love him. So after the game. You know, we win. Her made the game winner, and he gets a block to win it on defense again. And 
I, they must have been saying something because he doesn't usually – and he was, like, going after them after the game. I think Herb got me a little excited. Cause it, it, now, if like they, Herb's going? Well, yeah, if, they, if, they, if yeah. they did Herb wrong uh, to yeah. get him this fired That's up to go right then there. yeah, I had to, you know, please I escort the building, you know, let, let's leave Herb alone so we can celebrate our championship. <laughs> bets are off. See, that's why I got to work here. I could be a fall guy. I'll say all the dumb shit. <laughs> be like, I wasn't me. It's Marty's doing that shit. He's crazy. <laughs> He's unhinged I, over I there. I think I need a fall guy once yeah, in a while. I'm a great fall guy. Yeah. <laughs> no, Coach, this has been awesome. Once again, thank you for having us. And uh, we'll be rooting on the tide this season. For yeah, sure. roll tide. We gotta get you some gear. That's so all you gotta oh, say. Yeah, yeah. Gear them up, man. Gear them up. You don't, know what, to, you don't know what to say to someone. You say roll tide. Oh yeah, I, I, like I mean that ESPN commercial. You don't really get it till you actually get down here. <laughs> yeah. Well, you got when you got pulled over. Did <laughs> no? You know what? I should have said roll tide. He said everything's not roll tide. Oats on the front. Oats. That's the commercial. Isn't that the ESPN commercial? They get pulled over. Roll tide. Roll tide. Yeah, yeah, that's what you should have done last night. Should have said that. Yeah, no, thank you, Coach. This is awesome. All right, appreciate it. Thanks a lot.